Uh, so anyway, I've been trying to get to this Josh Hawley clip for a while now. And now we're going to get to it. There's the link in the chat, 295 bucks away from the goal. Josh Hawley was talking to a pro-abortion witness. Um, this is a great clip, a great example of, tell me you're a professor from Berkeley without telling me you're a professor from Berkeley. Uh, Josh Hawley is going to talk to her about abortion. Uh, have you seen this clip yet? I have not. Uh, I like playing these fun little games. Um, Josh Hawley is going to ask this lady about abortion. Now, she's a professor from Berkeley. Uh, how do I ask this? Because I don't want it to be too wide, wide of a, a net that I cast here, but what accusation do you think she ends up throwing at Josh Hawley over, remember, they're talking about abortion. Sexism. No. I think you'll get this in two or three. Male privilege? Part of it. Part of it. Just being a man so he doesn't get an opinion? Let's see. Let's, uh, let's, let's watch the uh, Berkeley lady. I, I think what you're doing right now is you're thinking too reasonably like you, and you're not going out on a limb like a Berkeley person would. Uh, here's Josh Hawley. Part, part of the patriarchy? Yeah, it's, you got you to gotta, you gotta loosen up your mind to feel really stupid, to be moronical, to feel like the dumbest motherfucker on earth. Uh, here's Josh Hawley talking to a professor from Berkeley about abortion in the Senate. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to all of the witnesses for being here. Uh, before, uh, I, I want to visit with you, Ms. Meske, but before I do, I just want to clear one thing up. Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. Do you know where this is going yet? People, she referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy, and he wants to ask her about oh, it. Oh, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Is this going to be about calling people who get pregnant women? Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. We're going to waste time in the fucking U.S. Senate for this shit. This is, I want you guys to remember this yeah, setting. Let me ask you this. Has there ever been a case... Of a trans male getting pregnant. One. Has there ever been one besides the movie Junior? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was that guy, remember? Because he like, made it all about his breastfeeding and the two dads and everything else. The pregnant man. Uh, Thomas Beatty, I think, was his name. How the fuck do I? If that's that his was, name. That person was biologically a woman, right? Yeah. You said trans man. I thought you meant, like, transitioned into a man. But yeah, I mean, I get. Okay. Oh, you there's mean no, like had there's the no way? There's no way for me to say this and not be transphobic. So just play the fucking role. Hold on, I want to make sure this is him. Ugh. Uh, Thomas Beatty. Well, if that was his name, then it ain't. I don't know where the fuck that name's coming from. Then said several times. You've used a phrase. I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. How many people checked to see if there was a camera on them before they rolled their eyes really hard at that? <laughs> I, there's a camera on me, and I rolled them very yeah, hard. Yeah, I know, where you just go, oh, God. And like as she's talking, like you hear her voice and the way she speaks, and like you hear that come out of her, and you just go, "Of fucking course!" Like just of course, like it's not. There's no more shock value left in it anymore. It's not. There's there's only the eye rolling now because it used to be what? How dare you, women? This dude. Now you just hear it and you go, "Oh Christ!" We we heard you the first eight hundred. I feel like I feel like we're on the precipice of a lot of this shit going away though, because I feel like the general mood in the country, especially, I feel like what hyper exasperated it was the trans women in sports. Yeah, but I feel like there's a whole populace now that's like, you know what? Fuck you. Like well, that instead of where. Five years ago, they were like, oh, you're stupid, but I'll hear you out. Right. I think it's that it's that old pendulum thing. The social pendulum always does this. It did this the 60s, and then there was the 70s with Nixon, and then the 80s with Carter because of Nixon, and then the Reagan, because, and the, the culture will get conservative, and then it'll get too liberal. I think we're now seeing that part of the pendulum 
where the dominant side just overplays their hand and people go, okay, I can't fake it anymore. You guys, you got to fucking chill. I think that's painfully optimistic. I think we're at the point where soft times breed soft people breed hard times, right? Well, I'm not not saying that. Well, I'm just saying like they're like they're, well, they're I, I did not 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 say you were not not saying that. They're they're just overplaying their hand. Like they have right. they have the floor and they're just I'm get- just saying like I wonder if it's like a, the last aspect of a crumbling society so it doesn't matter. Yeah, either the pendulum will swing back or it'll all fall apart. So <laughs> Right. Right. That's those are the options. We either get a little bit of kickback or uh we get fucking ruples, baby. I don't Although know. Are great. You know what I hate the most? I can't even use my ruples are shitty joke anymore because they're awesome. Uh I well I, I will say that like whether or not it collapses or the pendulum swings, I don't think either option is good because of how far to the left the pendulum swung this time. I feel like there's like the pendulum swinging back. Like if if we if we survive this, like culturally, and the pendulum does swing back, I feel like it could get ugly because of how many people have eaten so much shit and been forced to smile through it. Like I, I worry that there's too much pent up resentment, and that this. Well, I just think that if society crumbles, these ridiculous semantic arguments are the first thing to go right. Because if if everything if everything goes to pot, let's say let's say our economy fails, right, and we go into like, because it's not going to be like McCarthy's The Road or Mad Max shit. That's just not going to happen, right. right? It'll be like the Great Depression again, right? But in that Great Depression, like nobody nobody gives a fuck about your social identity or social politics when you're all fucking making <laughs> boot soup in Hooverville. Right. You know what I mean? When you're having Hoover stew, nobody gives a shit. Right. Nobody gives a fuck of like, oh. Are you, is that, you know, like you can't, I don't want to eat veal because I'm a fucking vegan. Fine, fucking starve. Fuck you. <laughs> then die. Um, As someone who identifies as, yeah, don't give a shit. My kids are, I, my kid died this morning. He starved right. to death. He just didn't wake up. Uh, you know, this is the problem with the patriarchy. Oh, that's cool. Do you want to fucking stir this boot soup or what? Yeah, it's your turn. The leather's boiling. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's watch Crazy Eyes here. Uh, can, we get thin, can we get thin slices of leather this time? I'm trying to pretend it's prime rib. Yeah. Let's watch Crazy Eyes uh, try to lecture Josh Hawley on people who are capable of having children. For pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non binary people who are capable oh. of pregnancy. So, this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a. We uh, should recognize what? that this impacts. Oh, <laughs> damn, dude. This is the corner they've backed themselves into. Oh, my God. That's brilliant. This is a. Uh, women are this and women are that, and they've lost the ability for choice. Oh, okay. So, so women that. No, I said people capable of pregnancy. Well, wait a minute. Isn't that women? No, non-binary people and trans men and this and that. Oh, so it's not a women's issue then. That's, God, he, you know, he is a slick motherfucker. He is. He's like a lawyer on a TV show. God, that's so, that's so fucking brilliant. And then, I don't know. It's actually, I had a friend who unfriended me on Facebook. Extra, I have an ex-friend now oh. who uh, uh, decreed that uh, they weren't going to be friends with me because I, I don't stand with women, right? Because they were super pissed about abortion because... They wrote this giant pithy bullshit about July 4th. And I responded Ugh. with, what rights did you lose living in Minnesota? And the answer is none, right? Because the Supreme Court had a Roe versus Wade before Roe versus Wade. And the Minnesota Supreme Court had a case in the 90s that actually codified it into law like our fucking government should have, right? Yeah. If, if, the, if you're on that side of the aisle, I'm not trying to divide right. the chat. But what was so funny is she goes, well, you just don't stand with women. And I just said, what about the women who are pro-life? And then she got pissed and unfriended me. Uh, which is half of them, by the way. It's, right. It's, like, like, even if it's not, even if it's not half, you can't like, it's definitely a population of over 40. It's very close to half, right? Yeah. Like, so you can't say I stand with women if half the women actually think the opposite, right? Right. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. Oh, that's so good. We can recognize that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those. So wait a minute. I can have my cake and eat it too. I know what I'm saying is a logical fallacy, but I just get to do it. Yeah. That I mean, that Did is. Did I mention I'm black? Yeah, I will. I will give them the, the people who think this way. I will give them credit for this. They are shameless in defense of the religion. Like they are, they plow through hypocrisy 
like they're driving a semi and there's one of the, the there's like a, a track hurdle in their way. I mean, they just blow right through it and they go, no, it can still be a women's rights issue, but it affects trans people and everything else. Like, well, no, it can't. And she's like, I don't recognize that my own hypocrisy. So no, it's like, well, what do you do at that point? You just have to go, oh, our, our. All right, then. Well, I it's guess. like you and I. It's like you and I said when you get proven wrong. You just, it's like earlier with the writer versus writer, right? Yeah. I've been saying that wrong my whole life. When you ask me about it, I'm like, I don't, I don't fucking know. And then yeah. when you tell me the correct one, it's like, oh yeah, I guess it's that. I was wrong. Whatever. The, the the I wish more people would go into arguments like that where it's like both parties uh, have a belief, but both of them have absolutely zero confidence in it, so they have to check on it. Like I wasn't well, I looking that's up- like one of the things like when you and I argue and stuff, it, it, a lot of the times it's, you know, if you can, if you can show me I'm wrong, sure. Same with you. Like, okay, cool. Like, cause it's like, I think people, they get so caught up in their own bullshit that they think somehow being wrong is like some kind of like weird, like guilty or lowers their yeah. fucking there's, status. Or there's some no shit. scoreboard, you know? Right. There's no, as a matter of fact, you're going to score hard. Cause, cause I'm, I'm a big proponent of you either win or you learn. Right. Yeah. So or if you're, not, if you're not correct about something, you learn about it. So the next time you can be correct. Or a real liberal way of being wrong, uh, like liberal in terms of the interpretation of such. One of the funnest, most liberal freeing ways of being wrong is going, it, once you realize you're wrong, you're like, holy shit, I also just realized I don't really care about this. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. Not uh, only am I wrong, but I haven't cared about this the entire time. Yeah. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is is that the core of this this right then is about what? So um, I want. Wanna... Never good when you're sitting in <laughs> when you're in <laughs> the Dude, Senate. I love how, just look at look at how patronized you know he's like he's like a dad that like caught a kid in a lie, and he's just giving her enough rope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like, go ahead, spin your yarn, let's go. That's exactly what. That's it, a perfect example. Like he knows you you're lying. See, like, Specifically, like, he's got this face. Yeah. He knows you're lying, but he's just letting you play out the string. He's like, go ahead. Because at this point, like, she already contradicted herself. Yeah. So no matter which way she pivots, she was lying one of the cases. And I love that question. We're going to play it again here. His question, basically, if we're, we're breaking it down into layman's terms, she contradicts herself. So his follow-up question is, so what's your fucking point? Like that's that's essentially what he's asking her. Oh, so your view is is that the core of this this right then is about what? So um, what what would you say it is that you do here? <laughs> I was, I'm a people person. I have people skills. I was told I could have my trans abortions at a reasonable volume. <laughs> yeah, you can. This, they just can't come out of your penis hole. Yeah, it's right then is about what. So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens that up- condescending giggle will get me every time. Uh, that your line of questioning is transphobic. <laughs> I mean, come on, um, it is. He's being very transphobic. You can tell just the he's way he's not being transphobic. He's asking you to clarify your dumb opinion. Yeah, he's asking you what your fucking point is. He hasn't said a thing about trans people. In fact, he's ignored the ridiculous part of your whole testimony. He's actually got his he's got his hand on his cheek because he's so exasperated by how dumb you are. Yes. Sub trans people to violence by not recognizing them. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one I want to note that one out of five Put your fucking eyeballs down to a reasonable level. Jesus lady. I bet you she's fun to date. This is what this is what's really fucked up to me too, right? These motherfuckers, they go into Congress and they think they're going to out politician these people that have been doing this their entire life. Cuz again, I don't give a shit what side of the aisle you are on, left or right. I don't care, right? The reality is that somebody like Holly or or even fucking even Mitch McConnell or even fucking Pelosi They've been doing this their whole life. You're not going to semantically have gotcha moments on them unless you're also a trained politician. Not only that, not only are they master propagandists, they're also, before they were master propagandists, most of them were lawyers. <laughs> right? Like that's. I mean, we always joke about like how stupid politicians are, but that's not, I mean, aside from George W. Bush, that's not typically a job you get being dumb. Right. You that get, was only because his dad was like the most powerful man ever. He was his dad's relief pitcher, and he came in off the bench and yeah, was I'm able fucked to, up so bad that George got to be president. Yeah, you can have pregnancies. So I'm one. I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. It's a lot higher than that, sweetheart. 
<clears throat> you might want to read out some. Of, one out of three. You should probably read the stats again. Seen, yeah, I've seen about as high as about 40 some per, 47% or something like that. Uh, you might want to check that out. Uh, one in five. You know what? They probably started knocking that number down because they realized that wasn't the weapon that they thought it was. So they used to say, uh, like, oh, 50% of trans people attempt suicide. And we were like, yeah, that's our point. It's mental illness. Like, that's a problem. Well, and it's, you're talking about something that represents less than 1% of the populace. So that actual number is very low. But not only that, they would use that as an argument as to, like, why we should, like, you know, do all this shit. And you're like, well, yeah, they're mentally ill. They need help. I'm like, oh, uh, like, no, it's no, it's it's like one in five. Like, you can tell that someone's full of shit when they keep changing their numbers so they can find the sweet spot of what supports their argument but also doesn't overexpose them. Well, and at the point where, like, I don't know, there's this really weird thing where it looks like, like, like trans in general, right, is medically a condition called gender uh, dysmorphia, right? Yeah. And it just seems like we had this weird precipice in our country about 20 years ago where we started embracing that rather than treating it. Right, where instead of like going to a doctor and talking this through, so maybe you didn't cut off your genitals and maybe someday try to kill yourself from confusion uh, or try to you know be put on hormone blockers at 12 years old or 6 years old, uh, you would go to a doctor and they'd go, we're going to treat this and make sure that this person doesn't go nuts. So I think it's important because of my us, line of questioning. Because so we can't talk about it. Because denying that trans people like now. You, hey, wait a minute. Now you've got it, Josh Holly. If she were being honest, she would just when he said that. So we can't yeah. talk about it. She'd yeah. go, Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. You go, yeah. Oh, sounds pretty. Uh, sounds pretty fascist. <laughs> right. Because because it is. Yeah. Line of questioning. Because so we can't talk about it. Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm it's denying that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women. Are you? She's trying to turn it on a motherfucker. He never said that. He never said trans people don't exist. He said that pregnancy is a women's issue. Which, by the way, he's being a liberal. That's how also, also, by the way, even if you take in the trans people that are having kids, right? Which. Right. Again, I don't, hey, check it out. I don't have the data in front of me, so I'm going to make some guesstimates, okay? okay? But I guarantee you, if you look at the number of trans women having kids, they will be fractionally way below 1% to everyone having kids. Right, so it's, so, even, it's an outlier. Even if this weird fucking ad hominem argument does exist... It's so much of an outlier, it's almost zero on a median. Right. In science, they would call it an outlier, and they would say, no, this is still generally a women. They would say, yeah, they would say the median is zero on that. Yeah. Are you? Having pregnancies? Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what, are you trying to like, she asked the question like it was some gotcha cornering. He's like, what? No, of course not. What am I, fucking retarded? <laughs> no, I don't think women, I don't think men can have kids. You? Having pregnancies? Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think men can <laughs> so. Get you pregnant. are denying that trans people like this. Thing. And that leads to did I miss something? Did I? Is part... doing that thing where like she thinks she's winning, but she like she's losing so bad she thinks she's winning. This this actually happens a lot, and this is a left side of the aisle thing where they'll dig themselves a hole, they'll start losing, and then they'll just piously act like they're winning. Or they'll, yeah, they'll do what she did. They'll find the one out question and they'll take the out and then spike the football. But that's but, not even an out question. That doesn't deny that trans, like saying trans people can't get pregnant doesn't deny them existing. Right. Yeah, sure. They exist. They won't. Sh of course, I, uh, Josh Holly's probably like, of course I know they exist. They won't shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> yeah, they represent less than 1% and I have to hear about them 90% of the time. Oh my God, half my hearings here now are about how someone wants to cut their cock off and they're mad that people yell at them in the street. It's, I can't fucking get away from it. Violence, is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, 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 they're, they're told that to they're at, opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, oh, I, I would learn a lot. I've what? learned a uh, Oh God, what an asshole. You might learn a lot. You should come to my class. Oh, she teaches a class. She's a professor. Yeah, he would learn a lot, and then he would get you fired. <laughs> exactly. He would, yeah, the next Senate hearing, he would cut your funding. Uh, well, she's fun. She's, she's just a good goddamn time, that one.
Oh, could you imagine going to that class? Could you imagine that class? I mean, just going into it and like trying to do what Josh Hawley did. <laughs> 